Iron Boulder is one of the new paradox forms of the Swords of Justice that has been introduced into the Indigo Disc DLC, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. With an incredible 124 base speed, 120 attack, great bulk, and an absolutely busted signature move that hits through Protect, it's bound to have some level of success in VGC. But is it the right choice for your team? Today, let's go over some movesets and showcase it in the battle to help you decide that. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more competitive Pokemon content. But first, this channel is partnered with Gamersups. If you want to support my work and get great tasting drinks, you can order Gamersups through my link in the description down below or with code MOXIEBOOSTER at checkout for 10% off. Gamersups is a caffeinated product that I recommend only to my 18 plus viewers, but my link will send you to their caffeine free product section just in case. Every product purchased through my link supports my channel financially, so I'd really appreciate the support. Now back to the video. Okay, so Iron Boulder. I actually have a lot to say about this guy. Uh, it is one of the most interesting Pokemon added in the DLC, and it is my personal favorite of the three Swords of Justice that got the Paradox forms. I've never really been a big Swords of Justice fan. I like Cobalion the most out of the three, but Iron Crown, it plays a little cringe. I praised it in the moveset guy, but it plays a little cringe. It's just an expanding force bot. This guy. This guy's signature move, though. They went crazy with them. So, uh, let's just get right into it. You know, if you if you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications. I said that in the intro, but I'm serious. Comment down below so I know that so you so I know that you know that I'm serious. Uh Iron Boulder though. It's stats, it has 90 HP, 80 defense, 108 special defense. We're like nearing Incineroar levels of bulk there, because Incineroar has 95 HP, 90 defense, and 90 special defense. I mean, like, 90 HP, 80 defense, 108 special defense, you're bulkier on the special side than Incineroar is. Um, and on top of that, like, you're super fast. 124, you're still gonna need, you're still gonna need, like, a booster energy and speed control, but 124 is nothing to laugh at, and 120, uh, attack will allow you to just absolutely smack things with Mighty Cleave. So, yeah, uh, talking about Mighty Cleave, Mighty Cleave is this thing's new signature move, it's 95 base power, meaning that it is just a little bit weaker than Stone Edge at 100 base power. Uh, but the drawback of Stone Edge is that it is an 80% accurate move. And I've talked about this so many times this generation. Uh, the main thing that rock types lack is a 100% accurate uh, physical rock move. They just, they just don't have it. Uh, and anytime something gets it, it's bound to be somewhat viable. We see it with Rock Ogre Pond on Trick Room teams having a 100% accurate Ivy Cudgel. Uh, this thing, a little bit weaker at 95, but it bypasses Protect, making it more reliable than Ivy Cudgel because it's like, okay, yeah, Ivy Cudgel, they protect. Oh, no, you know, I'll get them next time. No, no, no. Mighty Cleave says, hey, nice Protect, idiot, and then it smacks it through it. It doesn't break Protect. It's basically like Unseen Fist where um, you just ignore the Protect, but you don't like break it for your opponent to... Uh, follow up on it like a feint or something, but it's still a really good move. I mean, like being able to smack anything through protect, Flutter Main can't protect versus you, Iron Boulder or Iron Bundle can't protect versus you, and they both get one shot in a lot of situations. Uh, this is also very um, good into just anything that eats like a neutral hit, uh, being able to guarantee damage or pick up KOs versus uh, weakened opponents. Like, that's like a really, really nice thing it's got going for it. Uh, it's a rock psychic type. Uh, that's the main like elephant in the room here. Rock is an amazing offensive type. Psychic's an amazing offensive type. I mean, it kind of sucks defensively though. You're weak to dark, ghost, bug. A lot of people are going to say, um, rock resist bug. No, double check. You've been wrong for a long time. Uh, bug, water, ground. You take neutral from fighting. Uh, steel you're weak to. There's a lot of things you're weak to with this guy, but it doesn't matter because you're just going to hit things anyways. Let's get into the first move set. Let's, uh, let's, you know, there's enough, there's enough negative talk. Let's talk about the positives. Why this guy's crazy mode. So, this first move set is my personal favorite. We're running Terra Ghost Booster Energy with Mighty Cleave, Swords Dance Substitute, and Sacred Sword. A lot of these move sets, there's not any room for any Psychic Stab, and the only Psychic Stab it gets that it wants to run, like physical moves, are going to be Zen Headbutt, which can miss, um, and Psycho Cut, which doesn't hit very hard it's 70 base power high crit rate but doesn't hit very hard so you're most of the time going to run sacred sword instead because uh rock and psychic the only things those things don't really hit uh are seal types which resist both so having sacred sword is very nice uh it also lets you you know hit dark types for super effective which iron boulder is obviously weak to but yeah uh this moveset like i said uh mighty cleave sword dance substitute sacred sword you might notice doesn't that protect that's the elephant in the room here uh you don't need it. <laughs> you you really don't need it with Iron Boulder. Uh, you would appreciate it, which is why it's on the next moveset, but this moveset 
uh, for the most part, you're going to want to run Iron Boulder with something that gives off a lot of pressure, like a Chen Pao, uh, or maybe like Fake Out Pressure, like Rillaboom, or Incineroar, or Redirection. Like, I've seen a Clefairy once or twice, but for the most part, like Ogre Pond Water is a really good redirector for it. Being able to go for Follow Me in a substitute means two things. One, uh, you can't be intimidated, you can't be faked out. <laughs> I, I, those are two things, but uh, more, more than that, you can't be statused. These are all very good. It also makes it really easy for you to get a Swords Dance off next turn. Um, and you can also use that for like a positioning thing. I actually show it in the in the showcase later on uh, that it allows you to reduce damage on a turn if you like want to make sure you get something in, but you don't want to like sacrifice Iron Boulder. Uh, like substitutes are very useful for that as well. The only thing bypassing it is going to be Infiltrator Monge, which really don't really exist in this meta game. Uh, the only one I can think of is Dragapult, which doesn't run it. It runs Clear Body. Uh, and also sound based moves, which this guy isn't a special attacker. You're not really worried about Snarl, especially with your 108 Spadef. It doesn't matter too much. But yeah, <clears throat> this guy, his main deal is get a sub up, get a Swords Dance off. Your booster speeds, he outspeed basically everything. Uh, later on, I say I'm pretty sure we outspeed a uh, Jolly Excadrill in Sand. No, you outspeed Adamant Excadrill in Sand. Keep that in mind because uh, you are hitting, what is that, 193 times 2. That is uh or no 193 times 1.5 that is uh 289.5 289 because the game rounds down so 289 is a really good um really good speed tier uh that's like faster than reggie Alecki with tim and max so uh keep that in mind that's very good and yeah mighty cleave at plus two off a 120 attack and 95 base power as a rock move is going to one shot a lot of things you're going to be able to pick up a one shot on incineroar uh, on Flutter Main, if it's non-bulky Flutter, if it's just like 4 defense or like 4 HP or whatever, you do always one-shot that with Mighty Cleave, uh, so that is very good. Um, and yeah, beyond that, like you just sword stands up, you go for Sacred Swords, that's really nice into the various Reggie Steel teams that you see running around at the moment with like a lot of setup. Uh, it's also decent damage into Don Dozo because you don't have to worry about uh, any of its defense boost. And no, like this moveset is just very fun. It's the most aggressive of the three, but it's very good. The next moveset I have for you guys uh, is going to be a clear amulet set. So this is adamant clear amulet. It is very basic. It's 252, 252 adamant for uh, HP. Uh, we have mighty cleave and uh, hold on. I just want to double check that last moveset. Good, good. I, I had the HP correct. Uh, the HP on the last moveset, I, I need to make sure that we didn't have HP investment because by going 165 HP total, uh, it gets you an extra substitute. All right, but this moveset, this moveset here, yeah, we are running 4 HP. Mighty Cleave, Protect, Sacred Sword, Swords Dance with a Clear Amulet, and we're Terra Grass. Terra Grass is just like a very good defensive typing for this. Uh, it gets rid of your Dark Weakness, your Ghost Weakness. You do gain new ones, and you do keep the Psychic, and or you, and you do keep the Bug Weakness, I mean. Um, but being able to ignore Redirection and Sleep is very nice for this guy, uh, especially since you're just running like Swords Dance. The Clear Amulet uh, is going to allow you to... Uh, ignore Intimidates and Icy Winds and stuff. So with proper speed control, this moveset will be able to function much like the other moveset, uh, but that moveset is Speed Booster, so it doesn't need as much speed control. I will say that this is going to be a set that you'll run on very particular teams. I think the Speed Booster is more or less necessary for this guy uh, if you are running just all-out offense, uh, but this is uh, another route to go down if you feel comfortable. If you have like proper redirection, proper speed control, if there's like a Tornadus Urshifu on your team that you know can deal with all the things that this guy doesn't want to deal with, it'll be fine. Uh, there are other items you could obviously run instead of the clear amulet. You have life orb and stuff, but I think the amulet is very good in an incineroar meta because you can just threaten to mighty cleave that guy uh, and he does just kind of have to hold that L. But yeah, uh, very basic moveset here. Let's move on to the one that I, I believe is a little bit experimental. If you didn't notice, a lot of my moveset guides are two very obvious movesets. Ones that I genuinely think a lot of people get a lot of use out of. And then the third one, is where I go crazy mode and I'm like, okay, yeah, check this out. You know what else it can do? It can, you know, wash your dishes, clean the car, take your kids to daycare, uh, and it can run an assault vest. So <laughs> yeah, the final application uh, is assault vest. This guy's got 90 HP, 108 speed F. Yeah, you can run an assault vest on him. So we're running 76 uh, HP, 220 attack with an adamant nature, four defense, 12 special defense, and 196 speed. So what this EV spread does is the 220 attack is enough where you do still one shot flutter main um if it's just four defense you know you just want to make sure that you take that out um and uh the special defense uh and like hp is put there so you can actually tank a spec shadow ball from flutter main 
I have the calc right in front of me here. Uh, modest spec shadow ball from Fluttermane into assault vest. Uh, Iron Boulder is going to be doing 97% maximum, so you don't have to worry about outspeeding that. That'll be very useful. And since most of them are Terra Fairy, it's not like you're going to have to take extra damage from that ever. Uh, like, 97% is the most damage you should ever expect to take from a Fluttermain Shadow Ball on this guy. And yeah, <clears throat> I'm also recommending Stellar Terra, which is not something I do often. Uh, but for this moveset, I found that, like, Mons with fighting coverage that are not fighting types themselves do actually want to run Stellar Terra. We saw this with Chen Pao that I discussed in another video, but the main reason you do that is um, it allows you to pick up a KO on Incineroar if it's chipped, even if you're at like minus one attack or something. So let me get like an example calc off, right? So if Incineroar uh, switches in and intimidates this guy, he's at minus one and he is uh, Stellar Terra and the Incineroar had to switch in on, let's say, um let's say a mighty cleave then that mighty cleave will be doing like 60 percent i guess incinera is not really a good example of this let's go with like a steel type right a steel type what's like a decent steel type in this metagame let me think um i don't know reggie steel yeah let's say that reggie steel uh had to switch in on an attack and it took like a decent amount of damage like uh it let's say it switched in on like a double right and that reggie steel had like 12 defense 252 hp uh and now it's sitting at like 60 70 percent well that sacred sword is only doing 38 percent maximum uh at minus one no but at, at neutral sorry uh that sacred sword is going to be doing 56 percent maximum if you go for dang i'm like messing all these calcs up it's doing 47% maximum, but with the Stellar Terra, you get up to 56, 60, depending on the build. Uh, so it's really just meant to boost that attack once to help you pick up a KO. It's very niche. Took me a minute to get to get that thought across. I don't know why. It's hard to justify Stellar Terra, but there are very there are very few applications, and this might just be one of them. Mighty Cleave also becomes a nuke. Uh, you can also now run Zen Headbutt, you know, because you have the four move slots open with the Assault Vest. But you could also do like Earthquake or whatever other move. Uh, Iron Head's decent. And the final move slot I have on here is uh, Quick Attack. And that's just because like it can be whatever you need it to be. I put Quick Attack there because I think it's fun little tech versus like a Chen Pao. <laughs> Let's say that they, um, you know, they're expecting to like, you know, just outspeed you, go for like a, a Sacred Sword or like an Ice Go Crash. Like there's no need to like Sucker Punch you uh, or whatever. Uh, or maybe you have like a Ferrigaraf in the field. I don't know, whatever situation it is, like just having quick attack to pick up like on focus sash mons is very nice. And it's it's a fun little move. Not a lot of Pokemon get to run it. This is a nice little application. Uh beyond that though, you know, the speed. I didn't talk about that. Uh we hit 169. That's one point faster than Landorus Incarnate, uh, which means that uh versus Landorus Incarnate, you can actually go uh for the Stellar Terra Mighty Cleave, which is gonna be doing 73 to 86 percent uh off of that because it is just kind of a nuke there it's it's really fun but yeah that's the move set guide um i had my two normal ones and my one kind of wacky one let me know what you think about those in the comment section down below you know if you enjoyed leave a like and uh let's go ahead and get into the showcase i will see you guys over there okay so let's showcase this team we'll be using uh this is going to be a, a rental team that i release when the uh edited video comes out uh but we're using iron boulder with the booster energy swords dance substitute set and into this team, uh, it could be a little bit rough, but I think we can make it work. Uh, Iron Boulder should be faster than Excadrill at plus one, uh, so that is very nice. Um, and yeah, <clears throat> if I sound a little bit hoarse, I am still sick, uh, getting over it. I have a cough drop in my mouth, but yeah, I think we can just lead off with the guy, actually. Yeah, we'll lead off with the guy. Um, I also like my Incineroar on lead. I could even actually go with... Ooh, wait, I could lead off with the... Ogre Pond Wellspring. Um, now let's do Insin, Ogre Pond Wellspring, and Shen Pound the bag isn't bad. We'll, we'll go with that. All right. <clears throat> you know, I feel like Sand is making a comeback with Excadrill being viable or being available in the game, but the only issue with it is that Excadrill. Like, it, it just doesn't hit the speed tiers that it needs to. Uh, I believe its speed is 89, 88 or something. Um, 
And at plus two, like you, you need to run Jolly to outrun a lot of things. So I don't know. It really liked have, being able to run Adamant before. Alright, Titar Excadrill Clear Amulet on the Excadrill, I'm gonna guess. Yep. That's a pretty common thing right now. So, there is a little bit of an issue. Um... I guess I could Terra Ghost and one-shot this T-Tar right now. But I would prefer to get like a sub up. I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out uh what way I can get a substitute off, and I'm just I'm just not seeing it. Um Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll not even go for the fake out. We'll go directly into the um Ogre Pond. And the Terra Ghost will just make it so we don't take too much from a high horsepower. As they are just gonna pivot out. Sending the Iron Hands. Terra Ghost looks crazy now. And if they don't Terra that T-Tar, we're in a really good spot. Alright. So Ghost is nice here. We are going to take some sand chip damage. We also lose our special defense boost from the sand. But we are fake out immune. We're immune to anything that Iron Hands wants to go for. And this should... Oh, it does not one-shot. Hmm. Can you, like, rock slide? That'd be really cool. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So from this position... From this position, I can just go for a Mighty Cleave and a Follow Me. And the reason I want a Mighty Cleave is because I'm not sure if Sacred Sword will KO. And they do actually have a switch into this. Um... Yeah, I think I have to Sacred Sword. Mighty Cleave wouldn't do it. We'll follow me here, too. Alright, they are going to Terra. Dang it. Okay. I wanted to Cleave. I just didn't think it would do it from that range. Oh, they're actually going for the Terra onto this guy, which means... There's a solid chance that they're not going to go for a fake out. Okay. Like a wild charge would hurt, but I would actually prefer that over, you know, anything else really. All right, cool. Get rid of the T-Tar. Ogre Pond should live whatever this thing wants to go for. They do wild charge. It's a really bulky guy. He's going to take some recoil. And now I have to think, like, what Terra would the Excadrill run? We know it's Clear Amulet, so it's going to live whatever. Um, I could go for... How do I get into position? How do I get into position here? I think my play... Is they should always target down the guy here. I'm gonna assume they want they want to go for an iron head because it can't miss. Oh, but then I lose my speed boost. You know what? I'm gonna do something crazy. I'm gonna substitute and I'm gonna follow me. As they do high horsepower. We don't live that, but we're minimizing the damage we take from the uh, Iron Hands here. 
Because its attack will break the substitute, but it'll be fine. You know, this is better than taking more damage overall. Sandstorm still going. I believe that's the last turn, if not the next turn. Let's go ahead and get in you. Nice little intimidate on the iron hands. And oh, there's two turns of sandstorm left. I can make a really bold play here. And I am. I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, swords dance and go for the fake out into the iron hands, assuming Ectodrill wants to protect. Nice, I got the play. Cool. Fake out, swords dance. I think Iron Hands lives this, actually. What I'm going to do here... What do they have in the back? No, I'm pretty confident in this. Um, I can take out the Iron Hands, plus two Mighty Cleave. I, I don't think it lives that. Ah, uh, but it might, actually. Uh, we can Parting Shot that thing. Sacred Sword will KO the Excadrill, and we'll Parting Shot the... We'll parting shot the Iron Hands. Oh, they miss. You know, I thought we'd be faster. I just I just kind of got saved there. I don't know why. I thought we'd be faster. I outsped an Excadraw on ladder. I did not do the math. I just outsped one a few days ago, and I was like, yeah, we're faster. It's it's just you you just you just faster. Well, I learned my lesson. Not really, though. I got I got bailed. All right, we'll get in the Chen Pao here. Probably a Drain Punch. That's fine. We lose the Chen Pao, but we keep uh, Incineroar on the field. Actually, is Sandstorm over now? I think Sandstorm's going to subside. Yeah, no, we kept the Chen Pao. That's hilarious. Walking Wake. Um, I should be able to one-shot that guy. I'm just scared that they might have... Protect. Uh, I can just double the Iron Hands, actually, and that should be safe. Yeah, I should be able to double the Iron Hands. We'll go for a Mighty Cleave and a Sacred Sword. And that'll always KO. Unless they're like Aqua Jet for some reason. Which they shouldn't be. That's a bad move. At least on Walking Wake it is. Yeah, we got the Protect Call again. <laughs> Alright. Goodbye. Oh, it just straight up KOs. That's awesome. All right, cool. We can get two KOs now. Let me go for the Mighty Cleave onto you. And I'll also Ice Spinner, because I genuinely hope they, they let me get this Mighty Cleave off. I think I've earned it. I mean, if we KO the Iron Hands, there's no way we don't KO the, the Walking Wake. Yep, they let me do it. Thank you. This mon's ridiculous. It, it's actually really fun. I'll say, like, out of the future Paradox mons, this is the most fun one to use. Iron Crown might be marginally, like, more viable, but this guy's too fun to pass up. But yeah, that's going to be the showcase uh, for the moveset guide. Full showcase will release uh, in a day or two here. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications. 
Uh, and comment down below what you think about um, Iron... Oh my god, what was it called? Iron Boulder. <laughs> Have a nice one. Bye.